Welcome to the Apostolic Forum. I'm Dana Thompson, and tonight we have a very, very exciting show for you. We're going to be talking about dating. I'm going to be having a dialogue with some of my close friends concerning dating. And here to discuss this topic with me is Ariana Thompson. Good to see you, Ariana. Hi. Also, we have here uh, Ethan Bradley. Hello. Ethan, it's so good to see you. Glad you can join us today. And also we have Tyrena Lewis. Tyrena, thank you so much for persevering. I know you had to come a long distance, but I appreciate all of you being able to share your life and your heart um, concerning the subject that we're going to be discussing tonight, which is dating. Okay? But before we get started, usually so that those who are watching can feel more comfortable and become more familiar with you, I'm just going to, you know, just have you introduce yourself and, you know, just say something about yourself that you feel that the watchers may equate your name or you with in the future. Starting with you, Ariana. Well, I'm Ariana Thompson. I'm the second to youngest daughter of Dana Thompson, who's the host of the show. And um, I'm 17 years old. I plan to go to college in the near future next fall. And I'm an artist, so that's what I'm planning to go to school for. All right. Thank you, Ariana, for sharing a little bit about yourself. I know that can be uncomfortable at times, but I appreciate you sharing. And Ethan. Uh, well, uh, I'm 18, um, going to go to college in the spring of 2010. Uh, I like music and people, very personal person. Um, I'm like the sec second of four in my family, so there's six of us, but you know, that's uh, just very uh, family oriented. So you have six in your family. Yes. And three girls and three boys. <laughs> 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 kind of number that kind of weird, I know. But um, it's more like six family members, and I'm like the second of four boys. So So all boys. Yeah. I knew that. No girls came out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a genetic thing, I think, something going on there. Yeah. And also we have Tarina Lewis. Tarina? It's great to be here. Good um, to have you. As Dana said, I'm Tarina Lewis, and I currently reside in Northern Virginia. I enjoy singing, and unlike Ariana and Ethan, I have a small family. I have one sibling, mm -hmm. and I'm the oldest. Well, welcome, Tarina. Thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. Well, our <laughs> subject tonight is dating. You know, this has become, I think, uh, a word that needs a lot of attention, a lot of definition, um, a lot of perspective. And because when you mention the word dating, you have so many different areas of where, you know, places you can go in your mind and in your head. So for me personally, um, you know, I don't have any set agenda. Um, I just thought that, you know, people can glean from our lives by we just being sincere and just sharing our heart and uh, on the subject of dating and, and you know, also uh, making sure that we are referencing the scripture as our foundation to see what, you know, the Lord has to say about it. Um, I'm just going to start out, I'll never forget uh, a story where a young lady came to me one time and asked me, you know, what does the scripture say about dating? And uh, I just basically told her that uh, I can't find anywhere in the scripture where it specifically talks about dating, but it talks about people. And uh, dating, you know, is a subject in which when you have two people who are mature enough, who, who have some visions in mind that they want to share together and therefore they begin to develop this relationship and friendship. So let me just start out by asking and I'm just going to pose this question, whoever feels comfortable just jump in and chide in, but just starting out by asking have any of you um, read any books or have you studied this subject before? If so, uh, what exactly did you glean from it? I haven't studied the subject extensively, but in the things that I have read and just from seeking God and his word, just, you know, our lives, we are, we're relational. God created us to be relational right. and we are going to have relationships with people, people that are the same sex or the opposite sex. And as far as dating and developing those relationships, everything we do, especially as Christians, is about purpose. Mm. And our ultimate goal, 
you know, if it's God's purpose for your life, it, you know, dating someone, particularly dating someone exclusively, is marriage. And so in our relationships with the opposite sex, we need to keep that in mind, that the person that I'm dating right now, if that's, the pers if that's not the person that I'm going to marry, we need to keep in mind that one day that person is going to marry someone else. And I need to keep that in mind and just have the utmost respect for that person in, my rela in developing my relationship with him. Very good point. Very good point. Ethan, did you have something that you've read concerning dating or anything you gleaned from? Yeah. Um, I had read the Joshua Harris uh, books, like his Dating Goodbye and Boy Meets Girl, kind of backwards, but um, started out with his second book, Boy Meets Girl, after he kissed Dating Goodbye, if I can say it like mm -hmm. that, um, though he's married now. Um, I uh, didn't, wasn't trying to get a lot of uh, research or go into it a lot. I was just trying to, you know, get better understanding um, talk to it with my parents, but you know, reading it from someone else's perspective is nice to just hear what they got to say about it and um, just prayed about it and just, you know, whatever comes out of this, I'm not going to take it all. Like he says, you know, you don't want to use all of what I have, but you know, just see what you can learn and, you know, apply it to your life and, you know, God will work its way through that. And um, I agree with what she said about the, you know, relation and how um, whoever got poses us to marry in the future, that'll just happen. And right. um, he's got it under control, he sees it. Wow, did you say Kiss Dating Goodbye? Yeah. Wow, What you read that book, Kiss Dating Goodbye. Just recently, actually. Okay. <laughs> what exactly is the, I, I've heard of that book before, I haven't read it, I just heard some people sort of um, no, share some things from it, but what did you, what was the heart of it? Did you finish it? Yes. Okay, what was the heart, did you, what did you hear behind it? Well, he started, just talking about, you know, how it, you know, giving the definitions of what people think dating is and, you know, why people want to do it and stuff. And then slowly he goes into marriage, like to the end of the book. But um, what I'm getting out of that is just, you know, he's trying to give a different outlook on, you know, why play the dating game and, you know, there's other things out there for you or what God's trying to show you. You don't have to do the whole traditional thing that everybody does or something like that. So. It's more of a just giving his outlook on how he just felt his relationships were going and you know he gives his own input from his own life and you know if someday he wanted to get married but you know relationships it just takes you from place to place and it was um, just a lot of information on you know to help you if you you know decide to date that's fine but he's not trying to he wasn't trying to point you away from dating at all he mm -hmm. was just you know trying to give you know, insight on, you know, if you want to do this, you know, I got some stuff on it, so yeah. check it out. So why play the dating game? You know? Yeah. yeah, It can become a game, definitely. You know, I always say that dating is not for the immature, mm. you know, because it can become a game. How about you, Ariana? Did you uh, read anything on dating or what's your view or perspective of some things that you know is concerning dating? Well, I did do a little research preparing for the show today, so um, I did read some different art, um, articles, and they were just, you know, they were talking about different things and about how, well, I did, first I just did a general search on dating and, you know, just general topics on, you know, tips for dating, what dating is, and then I did a uh, biblical search for dating, so, you know, what does dating mean in the Bible, and how should Christians date, and different things, so, in the first search, I, you know, just came up with some real general topics, like, oh, dating is, you know, completely natural, everybody does it, you know, different things, and one thing that I was actually really shocked at is how they put sex as a part, as an aspect of dating. And I was like, it's really not an aspect of dating, it's an aspect of marriage. So it was very interesting how I got that from the non-biblical search. And in the biblical search, I was getting about how they were saying that um, 